be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well as the thumbs up if you like the video. And let's jump into today's content. So, you know, in honor of, well, let's not say, say in honor of, let's just say that since Drake came out with his new album, you feel me, Certified Lover Boy, what we're going to do in this tutorial is make a Certified Lover Boy type beat. All right. We're doing it start to finish. It's not necessarily going to be a super quick tutorial, so go ahead and get your popcorn and all that. You know what I mean? So let's go ahead and jump right in. Now, I was already kind of trying to do this some, um, before I started this video, and so I'm not going to cheat y'all and do the same thing I was doing. You know what I mean? We're going to start from scratch. Um, but first things first is we're going to go ahead and start with a software instrument. And I'm actually going to pull up the uh, quick sampler because what we're going to do there's, I found a couple of elements that, that are in a lot of Drake beats, okay? Um, one is like some type of vocal, and two is some type of dope like pads or even chords, and then some dope drums. It's really that simple, and throw in like a dope bass line, it's really that simple, you know what I mean? And when I say vocals, it can even be a sample, but some type of dope sample or a vocal sample or something like that with some type of chords and some type of dope bass line and some drums. That's what we're going to pretty much be doing. I'm going to start with the vocals first and we're going to be using Splice for that. So what we'll do is we'll just search on Splice for vocals and see what we can come up with on this. Um, I saw a gospel in there. That was that might be a good way, place to start. Um, we can even do Harmony. Let's check out what Harmony has to offer. You don't want it to just be like a one chop like that, like a, you know, you want it to be like a whole phrase. That's 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 a, that's a maybe right there. We might use that one. Just a little drink, baby. Yeah. Actually, that's the one. La. Cool. So we're gonna go ahead and use this. La. Should we bring that bad boy in there like this. We'll follow the tempo on it, and I believe that one is at 177. So we're gonna go ahead and stick with that. I'm going to move this track all the way up here to 177, which is kind of fast, but you know, you can make it work depending on how you lay down the beat and stuff. Let's just try to practice with that. And I'm actually going to pitch it up too. La, 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 All right, we're going to work with that. Let's just see what we could do. I'm going to make sure this metronome is on. And I'm using musical typing for the, my, my new, newer subscribers. Just push Command K and you can pull that up. And as you can see, it's kind of off. So let me just turn off this follow tempo. cool so what we're probably gonna have to do is just kind of mix this up um so we might have like one part of this right here or start right here let me see which one i want to take So now I know which one I want to do, and it's not going to be this second one, it's going to be the first one. 
a loop on there. So we'll just chop that off. We'll take that little vocal, that little breathing part off, and then we're gonna put a little fade on this, at the beginning and then at the end. All right, bet. So now we have our vocal. Let's go ahead and lay it down. Cool. So now we're just gonna quantize that. Let's listen to it back one more time. Just wanted to make sure it was just hitting right with the BPM. Next thing I'll do here is go to the EQ, and we're gonna cut out almost all of the highs. So take it like maybe down to like 500. And then once you do that, now it's time to add a little bit of reverb. Don't add too much. You can use any reverb you want, but I'm going to use Vahala Room. And I'm going to turn the mix down to maybe like 25%. Turn the pre-lay down some. Turn the decay up just a little bit. Highs up. Depth a little bit. Let's check this out. All right, bet. So now that we had that, let's go ahead and go to the bass. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a new track. And instead of going with the quick sampler, we're gonna scroll all the way down here to, we could do um, Omnisphere, but we're gonna go ahead and work with Octave Deluxe. I've been on Octave Deluxe for really ever since I got it. it has a lot of dope sounds in it, shameless plug. But we're going to go ahead and check out one of these bases. Uh, I think this one was a good one. Let me just double check. You gotta play around with it, you know what I mean? It's not like some quick, easy practice, you know, um, with these Drake beats. So we'll do something like that, just something simple. Quantize that. Let's double. And sometimes what I'll do is I'll just quantize just certain parts. Let's see what that sounds like. do as well just to add a little variation we're gonna double up these tracks right here like this I'm gonna change up some of the notes at the end so like right here See if this makes sense.
All right, so we're gonna stick with something simple like that. I'm not gonna overdo it on this tutorial. Um, I, you know, we could definitely spend some more time to try to get an even doper bass line, but you know, I don't want to overbear. So we got a good dope vox or vocal. We got a dope bass line. Next is time for some dope drums. All right. Um, I already have some drums like saved up, but we're gonna just bring in some new ones, man. So we're gonna go to the quick sampler, go stereo. And let me see what we can do. Let's go ahead and go to splice. We'll go to some drums on that and just say maybe I'll just say hip hop. Let's get some hip hop drums. Go to snare, see what we can come up with for hip hop snares. I think that that might sound dope on there. You kind of want it to sound, you just want it to have a Drake vibe to it. You know what I mean? Like, it's a lot of his music kind of sounds like dark, muffled, you feel me? That type of vibe. So let's, let's play around with that. Just added a little variation at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and quantize this. And we'll go from there. Let's like check it out one more time to make sure it's lined up right. One of the notes was awesome, we moved that there. And that's why you just listen to it again. So, got the snare, got the um, bass, got the, the vocal, um, the muddy vocal. Now let's go ahead and add some type of maybe kick drum or high, really hi-hats would be next. So, let me do that. So, we're going to find some dope hi-hats now. Since we already have the hip-hop selected, we'll just unselect the snare and we'll just find hat. Oh, not kicks, hats. Let me see here. I have to come up in here. Oh, it's like scrolling right past it every single time. So let me see. Actually, that's a dope hi hat right there. All right, cool. So we got that. Now let's, let's bring this back up, musical typing. All right, so yeah, I had to pitch it down just a little bit just to make it stick with the vibe here. I'm gonna turn it down some in the mix. And I could just go ahead and draw them in, but I like actually the the vibe of like playing it, you know. So even though I'm using this the uh, keyboard on my um, computer or my laptop, I'm still gonna go ahead and play it. So let's go ahead and do that. actually don't want to quantize this I want to just kind of grab like a good line of these where it was this on point so let me just find something 
Matter of fact, see this one right here starts off pretty much right on the button. So we'll start off at eight. copy these, we're going to delete everything else. I'll go to the very beginning, I'm going to paste. I'm going to use a greater, hand, greater than sign on the keyboard to push this over to 9 and paste that again and now we have our hi-hats. I can do is go ahead and quantize them but then just turn the strength all the way down like maybe the 25 percent and add a little bit of a swing to it there you go so you know put that strength down just a little bit so you still have the natural vibe of which you already played we'll go ahead and put hat right there and pretty much now we just need a kick to really kind of bring this in um, bring this home some so we'll do another uh, quick sampler software instrument track just repeating the process here y'all so I'm going to just click off of that and now we're going to go with a kick instead. So let's check out these kicks. Pretty dope kick right there. What are we, two for three on the sounds, man? You know, this almost immediately found them. Uh, let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and Turn this part down here. Alright, cool. Alright, cool. I kind of have it in my head what I want to do. Let's let's go. turned out pretty nice um, and then we're gonna try to keep this swing, same swing and you saw how those barely adjusted that's what I want I wanted to you know still get that natural vibe and element You know Drake you know definitely jump on some of this you know what I mean like obviously we want to kind of craft keep on crafting some more rearrange the beat some more doing some things maybe some other elements here and there but it's pretty much a, uh, a, a certified lover boy vibe definitely could go well on that album if we kept on doctoring this up man I appreciate y'all watching that's today's video if you have any questions or anything like that please let me know in the comment section and I'll holler at y'all in the next one. We're out.